Hello guys, it's Johnny time and welcome to another DeFi tutorial. Today you will have the best tutorial of the best five bridges to use in DeFi to move funds from chain to chain in 2025. So without further ado, let's get started. The first and my favorite bridge when it comes to moving dollars or ETH or any other assets between chains, mostly from L1 to L2s or between L2s is Across Bridge. It's app.across.to and the UX is so straightforward. The fees are very low and between 10 to 20 seconds, that's all it takes to move your funds from one chain to another. For instance, let's say I want to move funds from a base to, let's say, Arbitrum 1. Let's say I want to move 1 ETH and we can see here that I'm going to get exactly 1 ETH. Actually, no fees are being charged, very, very small amount, less than $1. You see that now I have 3352K and it's going to be 3351. So, and it's going to take 6 seconds, 6 seconds to send ETH from base to Arbitrum, very small fees, less than $1 for a complete ETH, which is 3.3K. You can also bridge USDC. Currently, I don't have USDC, but if I had like 10K USDC, you can see that the fee would be only $1. And you can bridge to so many other chains, to Optimism. Again, small fees, very, very fast, blast. So many chains are available. This is the best bridge. That's why I put it first, in my opinion. Uh, and it's just my favorite. So just go on to across.to. The next bridge is also very, very nice, especially when it comes to more unique chains like BNB, when you need to bridge funds to BNB, which is the Binance chain, into or out from this chain. I always use Stargate bridge. So this is my second favorite bridge, especially when it comes to bridging funds to Binance chain, from Binance chain to Base, to Optimism, to Ethereum, to Arbitrum, to Linea. You have so many chains over here. Even Phantom also. All these kind of unique chains that you don't have that many liquidity, that much liquidity or that many bridges. I usually go to Stargate and it has just a huge list of chains and the fees are also pretty low. So for instance, if I want to bridge, let's say USDT, what do we have on Binance? Let's see what we have in Binance. Like USDT from Binance to Arbitrum. Let's say I want to bridge $10,000. The fee is going to be only $3, which is pretty low to bridge between Binance chain to other chains. Uh, you can also bridge to or from Phantom. So let's say I want to bridge USDC from Phantom to USDC on Arbitrum. Yeah, the fee here is a bit higher because we don't have that many liquidity pools and that much liquidity in Phantom, but it's still pretty good and the experience is very nice if you need to bridge out funds on Phantom or into Phantom. The third bridge is all In the last year alone, billions in crypto have been stolen. Imagine logging into your wallet and seeing everything gone just like that. Stop risking it. A ledger hardware wallet stores your keys offline, safe from hackers and phishing attacks. No constant anxiety, no sleepless nights, wondering if you and your funds are next. Take back control, protect your DeFi and crypto assets before it's too late. Get your ledger today with my special discount link in the description below. The third bridge is All Bridge, also a great bridge when it comes to more niche chains like Phantom and BNB, just another alternative to Stargate, so I use it sometimes. I usually go and first check those three once across Stargate and Allbridge to see if there is the chain that I want to send to funds or to get from funds. And in my experience, all of them are great and they are pretty fast. You can see also how much time it's going to take. My favorite one is across, but then the second priority is Stargate and Allbridge. So these are the top three for me. Now, the next ones are more like cross-chain swap services not really bridges, but you can treat it like bridge because you can essentially send value from one chain to another. Also, you can swap assets on the way. And my favorite one is actually squidrouter.com. In squidrouter, you can essentially select here the chain. It's just a cross-chain 
DAX, cross-chain uh, swap. And the cool thing is that you can even use native Bitcoin and you can switch native Bitcoin. Let's say you want on Ethereum wrap BTC, you want to wrap your Bitcoin. And if I want to wrap one BTC to WBTC, it's going to be 0.5% fee, which is not that much in order to convert BTC to wrap BTC. And of course, you have way more options. Let's say you want to bridge ETH from Ethereum to uh, Optimism. Let's see what is the fee. Yeah, the fee is way, way lower, okay? So it really depends on which chain you're trying to bridge from or to which chain you're trying to bridge to. But usually the fees are very low. The time is pretty fast, you know, 20 seconds. And you have so many chances, and so many options and so many assets. So I definitely recommend checking out squidrouter.com. Now I'll put all the links in the description below so you can just use the links directly. And it's better if you use the links that I provide because there are a lot of scams out there, a lot of phishing websites, especially if you search or type the wrong name in Google, you can go to a website that looks exactly like a cross, the domain will look very similar, and it's just a phishing website that all its purpose is to steal your private key and your recovery phrase and steal all your crypto. So always bear in mind that you go to the right domains, click the right links and go not go to phishing websites. Last but not least, also one of my favorites is Symbiosis, which is quite similar to Squid Router. It's also a cross-chain swap. And you can select here the source chain and the source asset. They also support native Bitcoin. So if you want to wrap your Bitcoin or unwrap your Bitcoin to native Bitcoin, you can do that. For example, you can go and convert your Bitcoin to BTCB and then you can generate yield on it. No, you can't. There is no liquidity. But let's say we want WBTC. Oh, you know what? You want to sell your Bitcoin. You want to, you have native Bitcoin and you want to sell it. So what do you do? You go to BNB and then you search for USDT or something. Now swap amount is too high. Let's try to reduce it a little, a little bit. Um, you want to uh, sell some native Bitcoin and you get a pretty good price, 9.5K, which is a little bit lower, I think less than uh, 1%. This is the fee over here that you're going to pay, but this is just another way to sell native Bitcoin to stable coins that then you can use on chain either to cash out or maybe generate yields on these stable coins. Or if you want to wrap your BTC, so you can select here, wrap BTC on Ethereum, WBTC, and then bridge, let's say 0.1. And again, you get pretty good rates in that case, 1.5%, which is not that much, but you good, you got a better rates when you use just, uh, we sold it to USDT. So always try to find the best routes with the best value that you get. But again, if you go for the straightforward one, let's say USDC from Arbitrum to uh, USDC on base, okay? Which is pretty common. So I'm just gonna bridge, let's say $1,000 and the fee is $1. So again, check out all these five bridges. These are my favorite across Stargate, All Bridge, Squid Router, and Symbiosis. And again, check the link in the description below to avoid scams and phishing attacks. If you want more high quality DeFi tutorials, make sure to subscribe to the channel and click the like button so the algorithm will recommend you more videos like that one. I have a lot of strategy videos of how I generate yield on ETH on chain, Delta neutral strategies on stable coins and more, more, more alpha. So make sure to uh, stay tuned. Thank you so much. And I will see you in the next tutorial. Bye bye.